So good morning, welcome to morning prayer. My goodness me, it's Friday already. Where's the week gone? Let's come before the Lord. O oh Lord, <coughs> open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O oh come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving and be glad to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have moulded the dry land. Come let us worship and bow down and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God. We are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. <clears throat> As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 55 God, listen to my prayer. Pay attention to my cry for help. Hear me and answer me. My thoughts upset me. I'm very troubled. I'm troubled by what my enemies say about me. I'm upset because they say they will harm me. They cause me all kinds of suffering. When they are angry, they attack me with their words. I feel great pain deep down inside me. The terrors of death have fallen on me. Fear and trembling have taken hold of me. Panic has overwhelmed me. I said I wish I had wings like a dove. Then I would fly away and be at rest. I would escape to a place far away. I would stay out in the desert. I would hurry to my place of safety. It would be far away from the winds and storms I'm facing. Lord, Confuse the sinners and keep them from understanding one another. I see people destroying things and fighting in the city. Day and night they prowl around on top of its walls. The city is full of crime and trouble. Forces that destroy are at work inside it. Its streets are full of them who cheat, full of people who cheat others and take advantage of them. If an enemy were making fun of me, I could stand it. If he were getting ready to oppose me, I could hide. But it's you, someone like myself. It's my companion, my close friend. We used to enjoy good fellow friendship at the house of God. We used to walk together among those who came to worship. Make death take my enemies by surprise. Let them be buried alive because their hearts and homes are full of evil. But I call out to God, and the Lord saves me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out, I groan, and he hears my voice, even though many enemies are fighting against me. He brings me safely back from the battle. God has been on his throne since ancient times and does not change. He will hear my enemies and make them humble. That's because they have no respect for God. My companion attacks his friends. He breaks his promise. His talk is as smooth as butter, but he has war in his heart. His words flow like olive oil, but they are like swords ready for battle. Turn your worries over to the Lord. He will keep you going. He will never let godly people be shaken. God, you will bring sinners down to the grave. Murderers and liars won't live out even half of their lives. But I trust in you. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Judges chapter 11, verse 29, to the end of the chapter. Then the Spirit of the Lord came on Jephthah. He went across the territories of Gilead and Manasseh, he passed through Mitzvah in the land of Gilead. From there he attacked the people of Ammon. Jephthah made a promise to the Lord. Jephthah said, Hand the Ammonites over to me. If you do, here's what I'll do when I come back from winning the battle. Anything that comes out of the door of my house to meet me will belong to the Lord. I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. And Jephthah went over to fight against the Ammonites. The Lord handed them over to him. Jephthah destroyed twenty towns between Aroa and the area of Minnith. He destroyed them all the way to Abu Karamim. So Israel brought Ammon under their control. Jephthah returned to his home in Mitzvah, and guess who came out to meet him? It was his daughter. She was dancing to the beat of tambourines. She was his only child. He didn't have any other sons or daughters. When Jephthah saw her, he was so upset that he tore his clothes. He cried out, Oh no, my daughter, you filled me with trouble and sorrow. I've made a promise to the Lord and I can't break it. My father, she replied, you've given your word to the Lord, so you do to me what you promised to do. The Ammonites were your enemies, and the Lord has paid them back for what they did to you. But please do one thing for me, she continued. Give me two months to wander around in the hills. Let me weep there with my friends. I want to do that because I'll never get married. You may go, he said. He let her go for two months. She and her friends went into the hills. They were filled with sadness because she would never get married. After the two months were over, she returned to her father. He did to her just what he had promised to do, and she was a virgin. So that became a practice in Israel. Each year, the young women of Israel go away for four days. They do it in honour of the daughter of Jephthah. He was from the land of Gilead. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Come, let us return to the Lord, who has torn us and will heal us. God has stricken us and will bind up our wounds. After two days he will revive us, and on the third day will raise us up, that we may live in his presence. Let us strive to know the Lord, his appearing is as sure as the sunrise. He will come to us like the showers, like the spring rains that water the earth. O Ephraim, how shall I deal with you? How shall I deal with you, O Judah? Your love for me is like the morning mist, like the dew that goes early away. Therefore I have hewn them by the prophets, and my judgment goes forth as the light. For loyalty is my desire, and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offering. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Raise us up, O God, that we may live in your presence. Luke 17, verses 1 to 10. Jesus spoke to his disciples. Things that make people sin are sure to come, he said. But how terrible it will be for anyone who causes those things to come. Suppose people lead one of these little ones to sin, it would be better for those people to be thrown into the sea with a millstone tied around their neck. So watch what you do. If your brother or sister sins against you, tell them they are wrong. Then if they turn away from their sins, forgive them. Suppose they sin against you seven times in one day. Suppose they come back to you each time and say, I'm sorry. You must forgive them. 
The apostles said to the Lord, Give us more faith. He replied, Suppose you have faith as small as a mustard seed, then you can say to this mulberry tree, Be pulled up, be planted in the sea, and it will obey you. Suppose one of you has a servant ploughing or looking after the sheep, and suppose the servant comes in from the field. Will you say to him, Come along now and sit to eat? No. Instead you will say, Prepare my supper. Get yourself ready. Wait on me while I eat and drink. Then after that you can eat and drink. Well, you thank the servant because he did what he was told to do. It's the same with you. Suppose you've done everything you were told to do. Then you should say, we're not worthy to serve you. We have only done our duty. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Be not far from me, O my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Forsake me not, O Lord, be not far from me, O my God. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, Charles, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Give your people knowledge of salvation, O God, by the forgiveness of all their sins. Lord, we enter a new day and we give you thanks. For all this day will contain, for all this day will be. For the people we meet, for the things that we do, for the tasks planned and unplanned that will fill this day. Father, may this day be consecrated to you. May we keep it as a day in which we celebrate your love made real for us by the blood of Christ, and may we be this day a holy people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the world struggles in so many places as the former Japanese Prime Minister, Abe, has been shot, is in a grave condition, as our Prime Minister has resigned but wishes to continue till a new person is in place, Lord, we pray that they would act quickly and that the 22 would get together and bring in a new leader in a timely and effective manner. And Lord, as the news continues to pillory Mr Johnson, now saying he's staying because he's got a £150,000 wedding planned for checkers. Father God, we pray that people would be kind to this man whose ministry as a prime minister to this nation is gone. 
We pray for the person who will take over. We pray for the parties, all parties. And we pray that there will be justice in our government and in every government. And as we look at the world and its needs, we pray for the struggles in Africa. We pray for the situation in Ghana, where the Marburg virus has been reported and two suspected cases have been found. Father God, as we go from struggle to struggle, this is something that nobody needs. So we pray for the situation in that land. We pray for Somalia and the famine there, for Nigeria and the conflicts and the divisions and the so many cruel acts that have happened of late for Kenya and its drought and Lord the famine that that brings. We pray for the nations of Africa that have seen flooding in the last few days. We see conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We see so many struggles. We see so many tensions. We pray for your peace. We pray for your help and as Mumbai is still on red alert already flooded more rains are expected there have been so many floods and yet so many famines so much heat that people cannot live so much poor air quality that people cannot breathe we've seen earthquakes we've seen fires we've seen so many awful things of late we pray for your hand to be on the world and we pray for us to become good stewards of this earth and to care for it for lord in the brokenness we have inflicted we now suffer and father god we we pray for america and the sadness that the joy of reading about the states and not seeing a mass murder really tells us what's going on and how awful life is there. The divisions, the awfulness, the acts and the beliefs of those who follow Trump and feel that even now he's right and it's all a con. He should be in power. Father God, we pray that people who abuse power would see it gone. People who deny what is right in government should be encouraged to move away and do something else. So we pray for the world and its needs and all that is within it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray the church we pray father god as we see more and more struggles within the church we see more and more tensions we see more and more divisions caused by poor decisions Father God, we pray for the unity of the church. We pray that, like politics, left or right, high or low or centre, we would find a unity in the word of God and in Christ. God made flesh. Lord, heal your church, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, we, we pray for the people we know and love, those from our homes, our churches, our families. And we thank you that as Wendy continues to recover, as Philip's pain, we pray 
begins to get better. We pray for him and for so many that we know this day. I think I'm up to, to 18 in the last day and a half who have tested positive for COVID, including my sister and brother-in-law and members of my own family elsewhere. And Father, the breathing is difficult for some. Their health is disturbed. And they are forlorn. Father, we pray that those who have COVID would know your peace and provision. And Philip, if I can get anything for you or do anything, just give me a shout, mate. We pray this day for a servant of St. Edith's, a man who has given much and is so passionate about the place. We pray that Stan, who has a hip hop, hip hop today and also needs a new heart valve, that he would come through his surgery and he would recover well. Father, we pray for the people we know who have treatment this day. We pray for the people who should have treatment this day, but not. For those who can't get into hospital, for those whose bookings and appointments have been cancelled, and for those who just find the difficulty of getting a one-to-one -one with their own GP, has put back any help they may have had. So we pause and we lift before the Lord the names on our hearts and minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you've broken the tyranny of sin and have spent the, sent the spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks for being with us. Have a good day in Philip. So I say anything at all, just let us know, mate. Bye for now. <laughs>